I coach for today. I'm Martin, and you're Ryan. Right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, from what I understand, last time you were working on your height over the net, right? Yeah. So what we're going to start now is with a review of that uh, skill. So remember, if you remember, you want it to hit in the second window. So you'd imagine a window system over the net. You want it to hit over in the second window. So we're going to start by having you just in the center of the court on the other side, and I'm just going to try to hit through that second window, a normal rally ball, right? So you know what a rally ball is? Yep. Yeah, all right, so you can get on over there and we'll just start hitting. Okay, so I was maybe not clear enough with you two guys, but I didn't want necessarily to see a presentation at that one because you don't know how, how he will oh. react. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Oh, I, just, I just said that we should uh, start with the review from last time, getting the height. Uh, Okay, that's okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Yeah, and just recover back to the center after every single shot. All right, here we go. What's that? Oh yeah, you're left-handed, aren't you? Just keep going. All right, and cover back. Remember that second window. Right, that's a good second window. Second window, keep it going. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Yeah, good consistency with that second window there, uh, Ryan. Doing that really well. All right, so you can come on over. All right, so you can actually come to this side of the net. So I'll be showing you some stuff. Alright, so when I was watching your shot, I noticed you were hitting with great height. That's good. So you definitely remember what we were doing from last day. But how would you like to hit with more speed? I'd love to. You'd love to. Alright. So I noticed that you're hitting good shots, good height. They were going quite deep, but there was something lacking in the speed area. So I'm going to tell you how you can get some more speed. So if you just come on over this side where my forehand is. So what I noticed during your shot, is that you were using your arm a whole lot. All right, so you were hitting good contact point, but it was just with your arm. So the way you can get more speed is if you start using your whole body into that shot. So you can start low with your legs, getting ready. Start by turning your legs, turning your hips, turning your upper body, and then finishing by turning your shoulder all the way around, all right? So it looks like this. So I start with my legs, uh, hips, upper body, and shoulders. One more time. So I'm just gonna focus on the feet, see how my legs are start turning, then go to the hips upper body and shoulders. All right, so we're gonna start with that and after that we're gonna move it on to something else once you master that skill to, get, to increase your speed even more. All right, so what's gonna happen now is that uh, same height, trying to make it land, it's still a rally ball, and I'll be watching your speed. Yeah, so you're still in your ready position. Here we go. It's gonna get there, get there. Start low. So you wanna make sure you're nice and neutral in your stance, right? So you wanna make sure your stance, your feet are completely side by side, nice and neutral, right? I wanna make sure you have a slow backswing and then speed it up gradually as you go through the shot and are turning your body. Right, all right, here we go. Let's try that out. So you're taking your racket back, turning your body, all right. So you want to get nice and low. Make sure you're standing in a neutral stance. Neutral stance, boom. And you still want to keep your contact point the same, all right? It's still out in front. You don't have to worry about moving it out to the side. Just keep it out in front. So here we go. So you're getting beside the ball, contact out in front, right? Still using your hips, you're not using your hips. Right, there you go, starting to see more rotations. You're gonna get there, start low, all right? Gotta make sure you move your hips first, right? So lower body first. So now, just to, just to reinforce, the last two balls he missed it, right? Yeah. Did he turn his body? Well, he turned his upper body, is what I saw. Yeah, he, he turned? Yeah. Yeah. But did he hit the ball in the middle of the racket? No. No. So right away, you could have a very, uh, not bad technique, completely screwing up your result. Right. Okay? So that's why he said, don't, 
can't, you cannot jump too soon. So fine, you have to turn more. You know, it, it's not the body rotation. Right. It could be something else. So then, would the right correction for that to be say contact point yeah, you down could, front, you or could, say contact point more centered? More centered in that case. Because more centered in that case. The last two balls was like uh, on on the fray. Okay. So yeah. you could just like give a little to take care. Uh, just be sure the ball is in the middle of the racket. No, no, no. You should, you should, but your main attention is on is by body. mechanic. Yeah. But sometimes he could like miss hit some things and just like clarify, be sure you not discourage yourself. Okay. Field he doesn't have the resolve or things like that. All right. Okay. So I can just be like good technique. Just make sure you center the ball, things like that. Yeah, especially on that and that. One. Okay, sounds good. Okay, sounds good. All right, so setting your right position, ready to go, moving your feet. Perfect. Next one's coming. It's gonna get there first. Right there, you go. Starting to get more speed. Losing your body. Nice, good contact point right in the center. And your body's moving well. Still making sure your swing pass is still going low to high. Getting that height as well. All right, it's gonna get there. Boom, nice, good rotation, nice finish, nice shot. Boom, all right, perfect. It's gonna still make sure you're getting nice and low body. Perfect. Contact point out in front. There you go, that's a good shot. That's the kind of shot we're looking for here. Back swing, follow through. Still getting the height, still getting the height. All right. So what's happening now is that you're starting to close yourself off, right? So you're getting a bit of a wide stance going, and when that happens, you can't rotate because you're locking your body. So you just want to make sure you have that neutral stance, feet square, that way you can do your complete rotation. Because your rotation looks really good when it's on, so just keep it up. All right, so on your toes, good stuff. Just gonna get there, keep it square. Right, nice rotation. All right, here we go, keep it square. Boom, boom. Still contact, contacting out in front. Boom, boom, boom. Keeping it square, fast racket. There you go, right. So using that biomechanics, getting low. So slow on the backswing, faster on the fall through. There you go. That's good speed, good, good really good rally ball. Keep it nice and low. Boom, boom, boom. Still going low to high though, right? You want to maintain that height. So you're gonna get there, keeping it low. Nice. Boom. Good speed. Looking really good, good contact point. All right. Low to high. Nice. Hitting the basket. All right, keep going out to the side. Perfect. So that's looking really good. What was the last topic? The contact point? Uh, so it was, it's more keeping himself square, that way he, could, he wouldn't be locking himself. Okay, okay. 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 So that's why you were like jammed. Or... Yeah, it's true. I have to step out and try to keep square and then okay. Yeah. Okay. And then so rotate. the next progression would be to come to really make sure he's moving okay. forward. But uh, in a basket, did you feel you hit the ball hard? Uh, a few times, yeah. yeah. Not consistently. Okay, so now we now have reason, maybe the what you worked was not as important enough to have a, a significant change. Okay. I, would, I would say, if you turn your body and you're not hitting it front enough, yeah. maybe it's never gonna work. Okay. You know? Because sometimes you could hit the ball and turning during the impact, and right. sometimes you could turn first and hit after. So that's the difference between bring the ball transporting the ball yeah. and the other one is hit the ball. Okay. That's why he was maybe sometimes he felt like yeah, wobbly, it just like there. pushing it. A lot of energy, man. His body turned all the time. Yeah. But I think the timing was inconsistent. And the one when he did very really a real puck, we heard the sound yeah. at, the, at yeah. the end. He just hit the ball like maybe like 30 centimeters more in front. Okay. Just enough to oh my god I could had more racket speed in that short time. Right. So that's a little details. Okay, but your what you saw was were, was good. Okay. Okay. So right away you can see you look more like hitting it, yeah. organizing his structure. Yeah. But sh show me a swing. If you behind that, yeah, you're not strong. You know? Right. Right. So to be strong, oh my God, that's. Now you're getting stronger. Right, right. So you have to feel, you have to look. Say, oh my God, okay, he's, he's like that at the impact. Okay, yeah. that's, that's, that's not enough. See, that's the difference? Right, yeah. I'm uh, completely facing the net when touching the ball. Okay. Okay? So 
Sounds good. Awesome. Put the front back. Alright. Way to go, man. Thanks. Can you move your lesson? 10. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, two shots on camera. <laughs>